Right, shalom. Shalom. Before we begin, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakai Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, right. and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. To you, we say shalom. shalom. And uh, today, we're just going to uh, get into uh, uh, wisdom, because, uh, you know, I was inspired by the brother uh, Ash from my camp. He, right. he was going into uh, how different... Uh, Organisms have, uh, uh, you know, uh, things that make them different, right. and how, uh, you know, for example, um, you know, gazelles can run fast. Right. Uh, armadillos have a, a defense mechanism. Porcupines have defense mechanisms. Right. But the Most High has, has given uh, men wisdom, right. and that's what separates man and beast. Mm -hmm. We can't outrun a gazelle. We can't uh, 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 wrestle with a gorilla. Right. But the Most High has separated us, and especially the Israelite man, to a higher level of wisdom. And in these latter days, we have to uh, exude and use the wisdom that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has given us to deal on earth. Right. And throughout our trials and tribulations, and people uh, uh, messing with us, and you know, uh, trying to uh, 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 get to us, you know, we can't let these different things bother us, man. We got to use a, a higher level of wisdom. Especially being an Israelite man, because we, we, right. we have that uh, 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 that wisdom, right? Right, and, and and you know it's easy, like he said in his lesson, it's easy to uh, uh, fight somebody. That's the easy part, right? You know what I'm saying? But a harder part is actually using wisdom and being cunning, like the Lord told us to be. Mm -hmm. You got to I got a precept back you up. This is book of Isaiah chapter 33, in verse six. It says, "In wisdom and knowledge." Shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So this wisdom and knowledge is gonna keep us stable, man, which mm -hmm. the Lord gave to us. All right, mainly the what the, the Israelite man, you know, started with the started with the elect of Israel. Lord, what are we a part of the elect? All yep. right, we have this wisdom that no other body has. All right, that we have to apply it. All right, right. just how the cheetah will apply speed, mm -hmm. you know, fucking yep. lion chasing after them, Yeah, man. for real. <laughs> or, uh, yeah. Lion, he, he, you apply his script, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 that's our uh, weapon. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Wisdom is a defense mechanism. Yeah. Wisdom can, and I'm gonna get that. Wisdom is a preserver. Yeah. Like we don't, you don't have to carnally fight anybody as right. a, you know, as a man of the Lord. Sometimes you might have to if it, if it comes to that, but right. the Lord has given us wisdom. Yeah. So that we can use that. Right. To our defense. Yep. Why is it a serpent? That's right. That was it. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, it. This is Ecclesiastes 9 and 16. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised and his word is not heard. Mm -hmm. So wisdom is better than strength. Yep. Like, you can talk yourself out of a situation like yeah. David did. Yeah. yeah crazy. When Jacob came to Esau and Esau had 400 men. Yeah. You know, you got to use subtility. You got to use discretion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, any little thing shouldn't shouldn't really bother you. Like the scriptures speak about being slow to anger. Right. You're supposed to. Uh, uh, that's a glory being trying to be like uh, uh, our our Father which art in heaven. Right. Because if if the Most High was quick to anger, we we we'd all be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, this is um, Proverbs chapter 19 and verse 8. It says, "He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul." He that keepeth understanding shall find good. So he that gives wisdom love his own soul because wisdom can can preserve you, man. Mm -hmm. Like niggas not not using wisdom. Those who don't have wisdom don't have the understanding. But they gonna take that out of That's right. You know what I'm saying because mm -hmm. they don't know. The Lord told us. The Lord put us on game before, before that that implant before Esau make that thing mandatory. The Lord already put us on game, man. Mm -hmm. You got it, brother. This is wisdom of Solomon ten and ten. It says when the righteous fled from his brother's wrath. She guided him in right paths, mm -hmm. showed him the kingdom of, of the Most High, and gave him knowledge of holy things, made him rich in his travails, travels, and multiplied the fruit of his labor. Yep. And the covetousness of such oppressed him, she stood by him and made him rich. Yep. She defended him from his enemies, and she kept him safe from those that lay in wait. And in sore conflict, she gave him the victory that he might know the goodness is stronger than all. So going into wisdom, Sophia, right. wisdom, knowledge, and understanding 
is is the Israelites man preserver. It's 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 how our forefathers were was it oh Daniel. Yeah. If Daniel wasn't wise, if the most high didn't give Daniel a download, yeah. he was ready to, to yeah. you know what I'm saying? They was gonna kill they him. Was gonna kill they him. made decrees like if you if you can't yeah, yeah, yeah. if you can't discern my niggas. dream, you out of there. <laughs> yeah. So wisdom is a is a is a is a is a, a, a defense mechanism. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's heavy. Let me see what <laughs> Daniel 2. Let me see this. Daniel chapter 2. Since you mentioned it. God. He said the Lord gives his wisdom. Yep. Oh, yep. This is the book of Daniel chapter 2 and verse. I started verse 19. It says, Then was the seeker revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the power of heaven, which he how about Shemash? He he's the one who gave you that wisdom. Mm -hmm. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High, how about Shemash, forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. Mm -hmm. So wisdom and might come up, how about Shemash? He give it, the Lord said he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. prophets man. That's right. Got it, brother. And, and the scripture say, uh, what does it say in James if you lack understanding? Uh, wisdom? Yeah, if you lack in uh, understanding that. and wisdom. Pray until you how about Shema was shy, man. Give it to you liberally. Yep, he get here. Yep. Yep. Oh, I got the um here we go. This is um I think it's James 1. Yeah, this is book of, yeah, hey, that's spirit. James chapter 1 and verse 5. It says, If any of you lack wisdom, mm -hmm. let him ask of the most high that give it to all men liberally and upbraid of not, and it shall be given him. Mm. You know? You know what I'm saying? So we living in a life behind. We're really, we're prisoners of war. Mm -hmm. We're behind enemy lines. And one of the things that the brother Oz mentioned in his videos is, you know, we, we, we got people that don't like us. We got people that hate us. Right. And we're behind enemy lines. And we were commanded to be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Because we, 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 we have to move in this society a certain way. And our wisdom is, is the light. You know what I'm saying? In the, in the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah. It's our way to maneuver through this place. Right. Like how we was at camp today, them, them fucking bugged mm -hmm. out Edomites, they was getting roused mm -hmm. up. You know, so, you know, we know the Lord preserved us, but you could get carnal with them niggas. Yeah. But if, if, if you didn't have yep. wisdom, there you go. Yeah. You get carnal with them niggas, go, we'll be out there scrapping. Uh huh. <laughs> like I guess you be Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they ain't got wisdom, bro. And then what? Uh, what they gonna leave uh. to you getting locked up? Then you gonna hurt the ministry, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Is uh, you got some? Yeah, I'm gonna look for it. Okay. Um, okay. I'll bring this out real quick. On, you got this. Is, uh, you quoted this. Is, uh, uh, Matthew chapter ten and verse sixteen. It says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. That's right. So, the, how in the same breath the Lord is telling you to be, hey, uh, can you get that in the blue letter? God. Yeah. You, can, yeah, you swipe up. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, wisdom is a, when you get that word serpent in the blue letter, the Lord is telling us something. Like, in the same breath, he's telling us to be wise and harmless, right? So, that's what goes into wisdom. Wisdom is, wisdom will be able to make you. You ain't pulling up. Yeah, no, I was had to um, see what verse. Wisdom, the wisdom gives you the ability to actually live in live in a society and live in a world where you won't have to be a, a dangerous person because you you wisdom basically you're uh, uh, you know how in school you got different classes you're yeah. you're in AP classes. Yeah, AP classes. Like if you got like say for instance somebody at your job hates you he hates your guts, well wisdom give you ability to manipulate a, a person. Yeah, you can manipulate a person and and and, and you know bend yeah, and, yeah. and break them how you want to right. with wisdom. Yeah, and have him yeah. pretend you yeah. like him, but deep down inside, <laughs> nigga, I hate you too. Nigga's like a full core, full blooded Trump supporter. That, like, that's what like, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, you act you like, yeah, I'm exactly. Trump, you know what wisdom saying? like uh, uh the the count with Abraham. Yeah, Abram. When he told Pharaoh that uh, oh, yeah, Sarah, Sarah, was, Sarah his, was his sister, was it? Yeah. is that is that wicked? Was that wicked? No, the Lord is the Lord deals with wisdom. Yeah, gotta be wise. You gotta be wise. Yeah. You want that word serpent? Yeah, that oh. word serpent. Okay, this is uh, from Matthew chapter ten and verse sixteen. The word serpent in the in the Greek it says, uh, "There we go." Okay, serpents. Um, Strong's G thirty-seven eighty-nine, Office, 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 
It says uh, snake, serpent. With the ancients, the serpent was an emblem of cunning and wisdom. Was an emblem of cunning and wisdom. So you got uh, what? Are, what are the classifications of of dragon? That's the highest form yeah, of of, uh, of uh, wisdom. wisdom. Yeah, Apostle Gabar was. You know what I'm saying? Out. So a dragon is is a serpent. Yeah. Uh, you can keep reading on that. Uh, it says um, the serpent who deceived Eve was regarded by the Jews as the devil. Jump down to the Strong's definition says through the idea of sharpness of vision, a snake figuratively as a type of sly cunning. Cunning. Cunning, being able to maneuver through certain situations. You got a these niggas out here ain't on our level. No, they are not. Like you got these niggas at, at at your job and niggas you see all the time. You know we able to be. We live in the world, but we're not like these niggas. Yeah, we adapt to them. That's what I'm saying. Like no matter the certain situations the Lord put us in. Yeah. You know the situation keep happening because you ain't. You might not be using what yeah, the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thinking the Lord just giving us wisdom. For you not to use it? Right. No, he's gonna put you in a position to apply it. Yep. Let me get some just to back you up. This is uh this is the book of Proverbs. Bear with me. Proverbs chapter with all that getting get understanding. understanding. Yeah. Okay, this is Proverbs 4 verse 7 it says wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom and what, with all thy getting, get understanding, man. You got this wisdom to to um, to apply it. You have to understand, it, man. Mm -hmm. Wisdom and knowledge, then you get the understanding of it. You gotta that's it. right. So, you know, that's why, you know, we listen to our, our elders, mm -hmm. our apostles and our elders, because they, they put us up on game about certain things. And then, you know, how the saying goes, each one teach one. Yep. Because we got... Plenty of Israelite men that are coming to the truth after us, and, mm -hmm. and we, you know, putting other brothers up on game or uh, how to how to deal in life too. Right, like that, like that dude that that came from the other side. He tried to join the camp, mm -hmm. was manual, whatever. Yeah, you know. we try to tell him wisdom, mm -hmm. not to provoke these devils. That this dude, he's drunk. Mm -hmm. and he arguing with us. He arguing with us. <laughs> we, we telling you, you out. <laughs> you, but the scriptures say, uh, uh, uh. Experience means to be, uh, and the others, they go into this all the time. Experience means to be tried out. Yeah. So if you're around men that had already tried it out, right? It, it, how you hell you, you ain't tried out? Yeah, you don't know. You're not tried out yet. Yeah. You're you're a new guy. Yeah. So it's wise to, and I'm a, I'm gonna read this right here, Proverbs one and three. It said Proverbs one and two to know wisdom and instructions to perceive. The words of understanding to receive the instruction of wisdom, yeah. justice, judgment, and equity. If in order to receive something, you gotta listen. Yeah. Tend to. <laughs> you you're not gonna you're not gonna be wise if you don't read the room. There's a saying in the world called "read the room." Yeah. You gotta be able to know how to read the room. Yeah. If you go inside of a room and just talking, you ain't reading the room. You talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You say a, a man when he closes his mouth, he he become why it looks like he's exactly. even if he's a fool, fool he he, <laughs> he zip his lips. You but he, he I'm uh I'm I'm not Walla. He was a babbler. Yeah. You gotta know how to read the room in the world when you out here in the world too. Yeah. And amongst uh, uh, the brotherhood. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be wise in all shapes and forms of your life. Right. You gotta know when to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Even in the world. Yeah. Just because these people are not in the truth, that doesn't mean you got you can treat these people any type of way. Nah. No. Yep. You got to deal accordingly. Yep. Oh, that's just a little bit more. Okay, you got it, brother. I was looking up. Proverbs 1 and 4, it says, To give subtlety to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. Mm -hmm. Let me look up that word discretion. I think discretion goes into uh, uh, knowing how to discern. Mm -hmm. Discretion. Device, plot, purpose. It says witty. Mm. You know, being witty. You ever heard somebody say uh, witty? Going into your wits. Wits. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, King David. He was very. Uh, uh, you know when he was in the in a, a face of adversity, he was. Uh, he started drooling, acting like yeah, he was crazy. Yeah, he's. Uh, yeah, I forgot the word. You yeah. know, 
He's, yeah, he was witty. He used wisdom. He used his wits. He right. used what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai gave him. Right. Even Apostle Paul, you know, in certain situations, he used that he was a Roman. Roman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just to get out of the situation. You know what I'm saying? Man. Hey, we're going to have, and, and especially in these latter days, we're going to have to use discernment, subtlety to get out of something. We're going to, because, yeah, yeah. hey, we, we might be in some shit. Yeah. Uh, I had some kind. This is Colossians chapter 4 and verse. I'll read in the KJV and in the NLT. It says, Walk in wisdom toward, toward them that are without, redeeming the time. Let your speech with be let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. So you gotta mm -hmm. walk to wisdom, even those who don't believe. Mm -hmm. Let your speech be seasoned with salt. You gotta know when what when to say something and when to shut the hell mm -hmm. up, man. And you know, it says that you may know how how you ought to answer every man. I'm reading it. You know, every man, yeah. not just in the truth. Yeah. You got Jake going to work with their fringes on, <laughs> telling them they going, you you going to die, brother. Yeah, if you don't yeah. keep the commandments. Yeah. What? <laughs> Prophesying at work. <laughs> Come on, man. You at work, Jake. You yeah, behind he, enemy lines. He got written up twice. <laughs> <laughs> you work for the white man. They don't read you up twice. You got one more strike. You got one more strike. And then after you get fired, you cursing many devils in yeah. right. No, nigga, you ain't using wisdom. Yeah. Now you're about to leave you. You about to lose your car. It's Jake, not, boy. Yeah. Colossians 4, verse 5. It says, live wisely among those who are not believers and make the most of every opportunity. So we got to live wisely. Even like uh, Elder Ariella, he did a video. Don't uh, sabotage. sabotage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, even when you're living with your parents, man, don't be like cussing them out. Or, it, or it, you mess up situation for yourself, mm -hmm. man. We, we, we around non-believers. Sh shit. Pretty All much the time. 99% like of the time. time. You know what I'm saying? Yep. 99% <laughs> of the time yeah. we're amongst unbelievers. Yeah. <laughs> It says, let your conversation be gracious and attentive so that you will have the right response for everyone. And that's using wisdom and to know when to apply it. Yep, that's right. That was it, bro. Yeah. So you want to close it. out? Yeah. So with that, Lord William, is that a fine? We want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, the and double honors to our apostles and elders of Great right. Millstone. Your salutations to the elect. Shalom. Shalom. Let's go.